space and place in Surabaya. Spatial transformation of urban areas, which characteristic as modern industrial cities and affect every citizen as well as the presence of investors or developers who construct buildings, public facilities, public spaces, and others, are a form of investment related to changes and demands of the global economy. Therefore, with a social spatial approach, spatial changes in urban areas can provide an understanding of the synergy between the local government and the national government with the power of capital and developing industrial estates, real estates, and so on. An understanding of spatial planning practices, especially in making the spatial and regional planning of a city, can be seen by the way in which these spaces are constructed and contested by each actor based on their interests, which are manifested in constructions of buildings, transportation networks, parks, green open space, and so on. Space constructing process is closely related to the power relations among actors who are in the pool of the pendulum and the continuity of conflicts and contestations. This study explains that space in area and a tool that function to preserve the political economic order. The practice of spatial planning is manifested from time to time in order of development and landscape. The most significant spatial practices in urban areas relate to the development of the property sector and other forms of capital operations. Second, there is a representation of space. Forms of knowledge and practices that regulate and represent space, especially through planning techniques and the involvement of the state. Third, there is a collective experience of space. This is related to the representational spaces experienced by everyone. In this context, the market builds a system for the creation and accumulation of profits. Spatial problems in urban areas, especially in Surabaya, can be explained by using the socio-spatial approach of the web. This approach offers a critical analysis of the operation of modern capitalism, which was later developed by David Harvey. Space is the main element to understand the survival of the capitalist system, which can continue to metamorphose into various forms. The web spatial paradigm uses the spatial dialectic method. The web, 1974 and 1991, wants to say that there is a fundamental dynamic and the production and reproduction of space because in that dynamic there is a dialectic and the form of movement, interconnection, interaction of money, people and commodities. Space has a use value that is fundamental, the use value of time. In the VAC framework, the government as a regulator cannot ignore the use value of a space. This means that the government should ideally be a facilitator and regulator in bridging the interests of society and capitalists. The government cannot be neutral towards the interests of society and side with capitalist interests, although most of the special planning of the city of Surabaya has been controlled by capitalist gangs. First, space function as one of the forces of production. Second, space can be in the form of various commodities that are consumed. Third, political space facilitated control of the economic and political system. Fourth, space was trained in the reproduction of productive relationships. Therefore, space is not an empty container that is geometric and becomes a space for the continuation of social life alone, but space is social product, the VAP 1974 and 1991. The sustainability aspects of space is global, which is characterized by the interconnectedness of three components, namely environment, society, and economy. Disasters, the space is not something or a product resulting from social interaction alone, but is the product of series of political interactions 
and occur simultaneously between the forces of capital, government, and society, so that space really becomes the part of the process of accumulation and circulation of capital. The development of the city of Surabaya is running with problematic spatial policies. As a result, space in the city of Surabaya are separated and divided in terms of the power of developers or investors. Such characteristics are character of Surabaya city, which was built by relying on the strength of developers. Developers always give naming or branding to the space they build to differentiate and show the space is owned and controlled by capitalists, not the government. The space that was originally used for housing has been converted into offices. The materialization of space becomes an indication that space serves a curtain function of the power of capital. The special configuration in Surabaya represents the interests of capitalists or investors, society, and the government. This is of course with iron coal preparations because the space for capitalists provided and facilitated by the city government will be produced and reproduced for long-term interest into living spaces for the community. When capitalists produce these spaces, they carry out physically and material constructions which is manifested in the constructions of spaces for settlements and offices. The rex is a space which is created to serve the needs of society and there is a space created for the needs of the capitalists. This is in line with the development of an existence of modern city, which is characterized by the presence of centralized operation of capital power in a curtain space. This is in line with the development and existence of modern city, which is characterized by the presence of a centralized operation of capital power in a curtain space. The existing structure in practice in the city of Surabaya shows the dynamics of the political economy, actors representing the governments, investors, and the community contributed into inconsistent implementation of the RTRW. The Surabaya city government is a representation of the capitalist system that regulates and rationalizes space for the production and reproduction of social economic space. This condition strengthens the verb tasis that in the space there is a political aspect. Space in the sewer city of Surabaya has a political product and instrument that allows the city of Surabaya to develop. Through this, the dominant space emerges, which is partly owned by the dominant place and partly owned by the community. This is study also strengthens Harvey's argument that the configuration of spatial control in the city of Surabaya follows the flow of existing capital circuits. Conclusion These circuits can be seen from the domination of the capitalist who infest their class. Put in the realm of production and direct consumptions, the realm of capital formations and fixed consumptions, as well as the realm of consumption. The capital circuit results in an equal proportion of control between the three actors in spatial planning practice. In addition, the Surabaya city government also guarantees the creation of an institutional framework that supports the existence of capitalist forces that consciously accumulate capital through spatial policies that are resided through a political process. In each of their interactions, the three actors always go through a series of urban process and political process. This interaction determines the form of special planning practices that lead to conflictual relations or just contestations. Through this context, contestation and conflict has dialectical continuity within the framework of productions, reproductions, and space consumptions can function to strengthen the order of sustainable human development. This means that the practice of spatial planning should be brought closer to its ideal level, namely, how created form.